one minute you're a healthy person, the next minute you have breast cancer. You don't cook much, do you? Etta May is up early these days. She lives a much different life than when she was a nurse working the night shift. I hear cooking. She'd be just getting to sleep about now. I was always exhausted. I don't know of any of the nurses that work those shifts, especially the night shift gals, that weren't exhausted. Women that work night shift, they have higher incidence of breast cancer. Virginia Tech molecular biologist Carla Finkelstein wants to know more about the impact of night shift work on a woman's body clock. Can working odd hours alter her body chemistry, turning healthy cells into cancer cells? What we're trying to understand is how changes in that environmental conditions influence the expression of genes. With support from the National Science Foundation, Finkelstein uses frog embryos to help figure out the physiological changes in women who work the night shift. She says studies show that working night owls have abnormal levels of specific proteins in their cells which control the genes that regulate how the cells grow and divide. Finkelstein injects those proteins into the frog cells to study their effects. And that could end up in cancer. It could end up in very many other diseases. But in, in our studies, we believe that end up in abnormal proliferation of cancer cells. Finkelstein also studies the role a woman's body clock plays in treating the disease. Using human cancer cells, she tests whether radiation therapy is more effective when given at certain times of the day. So people that actually has the disease can receive treatments at the time of the day that makes the medicine more effective. We are the face of breast cancer. I don't know if there's any way that I can protect my grandchildren or my nieces uh, from getting this disease, but that's what I would like to do. Cancer survivors say they are up against another clock. I have two daughters, three granddaughters. I don't want them to get it. I would like to see no women die from breast cancer. So I hope that, you know, in 20 years from now, you're not interviewing me about breast cancer, but we can talk about something else. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.